In this video, we are going to talk about three nursing school resources that you must have for nursing school. And some of these you might not have thought about yet. They will help you out so much in nursing school. So let's go through them so you can pass your exams. Now, the first resource I recommend is the Nursing Diagnosis Handbook. This book is helped designed to help you with care plans. Now care plans can take up a lot of your time in nursing school and you do them so much. So this book is truly a lifesaver when it comes to everything care plans. It is super handy uh, and makes them way easier. Instead of spending hours and hours struggling to write them, this book will help write them for you. The Nursing Diagnosis Handbook by Ackley and Ladwig. It literally walks you through each nursing diagnosis, the possible goals for your patients, causes, symptoms, interventions that you can do. It has the rationales. Like I said, it basically writes your care plans for you. All you need to do is look up the nursing diagnosis that you're working with and it lists the possible goals that you can use, the related to factors, the possible signs and symptoms, like I said, the nursing interventions. It is seriously amazing. My friend, I actually have a whole video where I go through this book uh, right here. Click on the link. You'll definitely want to look at that too. I know it's one extra thing to buy in nursing school, but I'm telling you, my friend, once you have saved a ton of hours studying, you will love, love, love it. Now, the second resource that I recommend is the Made Incredibly Easy book series. I really like the Nursing Assessment and the Pathophysiology books and their Fluid and Electrolyte one. That, those three are the ones that I used in nursing school. They're great. The book series really breaks down tough concepts for you and helps make it way easier to understand. Now, the only issue that I have run into with these books is that because the concepts are so broken down and easy to understand, uh, it doesn't go super as deep into the, some of the topics that you need. So it's best to pair these books with another resource that goes a bit deeper. That way you have more of a broad understanding of the topics and you can dive deeper with another resource if you need to. But they are super, super helpful for you to get kind of a high level overview of the concepts that are tough to grasp. They also have some really great mnemonics and tips to help remember things too as well. Now, another thing that I recommend that you check out out is a resource for practice questions, especially now with the next generation NCLEX. Practice questions are really going to help you get a good handle on how to answer those types of questions correctly. So there's really two resources that I love for practice questions. The first one is the Saunders book, Saunders Comprehensive Review Guide, and the NCLEX RN Mastery app. Now this Saunders book is the older edition, so you'll need to get the updated one that's updated for the new NCLEX. But either of those resources are fantastic for giving you lots of practice questions to go through. And these are actually the two resources that I personally used in nursing school. So they're really, really, really great. Practice questions are really gonna do two things for you. They will help you learn the information and be able to critically think about it in a different way. And they also will help you get used to just answering these types of questions. My friend, you do not want to get to your exam and be confused about how these questions are worded. So be sure to practice them beforehand so that you can get more comfortable with what a typical NCLEX style question looks like. Now, there's a few things that will almost always show up on your nursing school exams. So click on this video right here to find out what they are so that you can pass. I will walk you through it step by step and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I will see you over there in the next video.